Okay, y'all, it's actually happening. We are here. So it's gonna be a five hours and 45 minutes, and I'm ready. Oh my god. Hi. Hi, welcome aboard. What's hey. uh, the you think? All right, y'all, so we on the plane. <laughs> we going to New York. I'm being flown out to New York for the very first time. I've never been over there, so shout out. Okay, y'all, I landed. I'm here in New York. And the whole plane ride over here, I was thinking like, damn, it's so crazy how life hits you unexpectedly because I was expecting to move into my new appointment on Friday that I have been anticipating for over two months now. So originally it was only supposed to be a one month wait, but they moved our moving day. And I was so impatiently waiting for Friday. And I got a last minute two day notice hey we're putting you on a flight to new york so i'm just super excited we're here and now i gotta find this baggage claim so i'm gonna keep it updated i'm super excited so we did it baggage claim got mario helped me to the driver and we are on our way to our hotel room Hi. oh my goodness yeah i just got to the hotel room and let me say Crazy. This is the best part. Where's the light? I think it centers, maybe. I'm on a mission to find the light. There it is. There it goes. Hey, we in this bed, y'all, that. So, we got the shower. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all, so I've never been to New York City, and we are here. I'm just ready for action, so I'm about to get ready. I'm gonna go to dinner with Mario. I'm super excited that I at least have Mario here. You know, he's been a good help and a good friend. I'm not gonna be able to make it to his graduation because, you know, work caught us. So on the first day of being in New York City, I started my day off with a workout, and then I followed by going to the nail supply to get some acetone, cotton balls, and find a pedicure tub. Hey y'all, so I was like a little panicky because I was trying to find a nail supply store that had pedicure tubs. And for some reason here in New York, all the nail supply stores didn't have them. At least like local ones right here, which I called like five of them. And I uh, found this a store and they do got a lot of things and the pedicure tub. So it's my first time out here getting to know like I got to take it to Google and start finding nail supply stores. But shout out to Tokyo because she came here this morning for hair supply and it turns out they have all types of nail stuff. Good morning, everybody, or should I say afternoon? So I have this setup from yesterday. I did Cardi's toes, soaked off her toes, put some fresh toes on, and I have my setup all ready to go for today. Today we're doing nails, but I have everything set up so she could choose her color. She doesn't know which color we get because we have to figure out outfit. Beautiful view where we're working. Slay time, nail time. The day we've been all waiting for. I'm going to show you how to create the swirl nail I did on Cardi B for Summer Jam 2021 in New York City. So I had to improvise a little bit because they didn't have no plastic straws, um, only at Starbucks, but I was going to go all the way to Starbucks to get a straw. So I just wrapped a form around the paper straw. And if I didn't do this, it would have been impossible for me to take off the swirl without the paper sticking to the acrylic. So here we go. Let's get into how I made this swirl. So first I put the form on the straw. I taped the back down and then I started folding it. Now I'm going to cut off a piece, like not half of the form, but just the half that's just extra that I don't need. Um, I'm going to use my pointed scissors that are available on my website. So I start from here. So it's almost half, but it's a little more to the left then half and once I cut it I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna go straight for my acrylic
So I'm using my size number eight brush by Kiara Sky. Um, it was a perfect size because I don't want to pick up too big of a bead and have all this acrylic drying fast where I had to swirl my way around the straw. So size number eight. Now this first part, I want to make it spiky because it's like half lipstick shape, but more on the stiletto side, just because we want that top of the tip to be very classy and sharp. Um, so if you pay attention, I'm flattening out the acrylic and I'm kind of squaring the edges. So I'm making sure the top and the bottom is straight. It's going to look like we're wrapping a long rectangle strip around the straw. That's the goal. You don't want it to look like a curly fry where it's like a um, circle and it's not like boxed out. Like this is how you get the dimension in the lipstick shape. So I flatten out and I make sure the bottom is straight and the top is straight as well. And the beginning part is like, it looks a little weird, like damn, how's this gonna come out? But then as you start applying acrylic and you keep making your way around the straw, it's gonna all come together. Now this part wasn't sticking down, and so I had to glue it down with some glue and hold it down with my cuticle pusher so the swirl can form at the top of the tip. So I keep patting my acrylic as it starts drying that's the perfect time to mold it so if you see me putting more pressure it's because I'm either squaring it out or spreading the acrylic around the straw here I go with another bead always blend the next bead onto the last bead So now that I've been around the straw four times, now it's starting to look like the swirl and it's all coming together. I'm gonna come in with the last bead, gonna blend it onto the uh, previous bead that I laid down and start squaring it and patting it out. And then next we're gonna get on to taking off the swirl, which could be a tricky part because you're like, how the heck did you take it off? The way I started was I started by pinching the tips pinching the top of the uh, straw and the bottom and then I started pinching in between the cracks now this is a paper straw and it made my life much more difficult than it would have been making it with the plastic straw finally I just cut the swirl off the straw and I was able to pull it off because it was all loose and it came off so cool this is so crazy at this point this is what I was thinking like okay we're really doing this swirl now so I didn't think about it with the first swirl I took it off instead of filing before it makes it much more easier to go ahead and file and start cleaning the edges when the swirl is on the straw it will make your life so much easier Next, just like a regular acrylic now, I'm going to go in and buff the acrylic out so when I put my gel polish on, it won't be no large streaks in between the mix. So on top of filing in between the swirls, I capped it off by filing the tip of the swirl because you want that background to be very sharp. So these are the ones that I made for Cardi, but then I had to refilm and create another swirl because I didn't want to invade Cardi's privacy. I was doing her nails while she was sleeping, so I couldn't film me putting it on her nail, but I'm remaking it, and here we are. When I remade it, this is the plastic straw I originally wanted, but in New York, they only had the paper one, so that's why I was saying I had to improvise. So I definitely recommend you get a plastic one. It makes it so much easier to come off. Now, I did snap a picture of Cardi Swirl when I did apply it to her nail. I just hadn't filed it yet, but here it is. Now, this plastic straw is um, much more skinnier than the one I made Cardi's. Cardi's was more thicker, so you could see the thickness on here. Um, and I built more acrylic on it, too. So this is more skinnier. So if you were going to do the design on a pinky, I would definitely recommend this one. If you're going to do it on a ring finger, I would recommend a thicker one, like the thickness of this pin. So that would be like a Starbucks straw. 
um, that would be ideal because it's plastic, you don't gotta put a form on it, and it's thick for any of the other fingers. With Cardi's nail, so she had a nail on, but I cut, I had took most of the acrylic off and I shaved most of the acrylic down and I laid fresh acrylic and I stuck it on there first and added glue. So on this one, I'm gonna add a little thin layer of acrylic and then I'm gonna hold this one in place to stick to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay my thin layer. So what I'm using is my Young Nails Monomer and Young Nails Natural. I use natural to create this one. So go ahead into the liquid and I'm gonna pick up two taps, three maybe, really, just right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start at the cuticle. Of course, take care of your cuticle area. Now, I'm not building super thick because I, I this bead is strictly to go ahead and cover the area that I uh, prepped, cleaned, primed, and then also just get the acrylic to start curing and getting hard while holding the swirl in place for it to stay put. And once I find the spot for the swirl, I'm gonna put glue on it to enforce that hold. And then we're gonna put more acrylic on. Now I'm not worried about the smoothness or anything because this is so thin and I'm just gonna hold this in place. So let it cure, let it start matting out. Right here is like the perfect curing time. It's already getting hard, but it's still wet. So I'm looking at the way the swirl's coming. I want the swirl to show right here. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this one with a nipple. I'm just gonna kind of try to cut this off. There it goes. So now when I hold it down, and it's still not there, almost there. There we go. Just hold it in place. And with my fingers, I just start holding the acrylic on it. Hold it in place. So once I have an idea of where I want it, I want to find something somewhere where it could lay because right there. So this is with the dry acrylic. The acrylic's already drying. So now I'm going to come in here with a wet bead and I'm just going to put it on top of the area where I'm holding the acrylic down. Also, make sure it's straight when you're doing this because you don't want, once you have it on this position, it's not going anywhere. And when I turn it, it's already molding. So then I'm going to get a little bit of acrylic under there. And just a little bit you can use a small wet bead like this and go ahead and put it in where the tip is at and just push it with the tip of your brush make sure it gets down there yep turn this around and i'm not worried about this being thick because i'm still going to build right here once this is done once i get that molded i'm going to come in here with glue and i'm really trying to get the where the tip is at in the front so this little area over there even though there's acrylic over there, I'm still going to go in and enforce it with some glue. So I'll make sure there's glue down there. Make sure you don't get it under the client's natural nail. Slowly, slowly um, let the glue slip in there. And then put your activator. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the acrylic onto the natural nail and build up. So it's going to be like a short apex leading up into the swirl. So I'm going to get a good size bead medium bead start at the cuticle area and this is going to give the swirl um strength where it can actually hold itself because it's going to have the back backing it up right there so i'm going to get a new sandy band and now i'm going to smooth out the acrylic that i just applied All right, I'm gonna come in for the cuticle area first. Start taking down the thickness, and then right to left. All right, so once your uh, alcohol is cleansed, your nail is cleansed, now we're gonna go in with the color. 
and I'm gonna do the same color I did on Cardi. So the color I did was Big Red Apple by OPI, number 7166. So I'm gonna come in, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, starting from the cuticle. Well, actually, I'm gonna work from the bottom up because uh, I have a habit of grabbing the nail right here. Um, I did that on one of the nails when I was doing Cardi's nails, so I was like, damn. So I'm just gonna start from the bottom instead. Right here, just start painting. What I like to do first is start dispersing the gel and then come back for the fine details. Turn it sideways and let's go. Now I paint this part because I, I want it to be red like sharp, but I don't paint all the inside. So then I'll start asking, you can ask a client to turn her hand upside down. So when she turns upside down, you can get this part. And since you're there, go ahead and start doing the rest of them. Look how clean it is under. You want it to be like that with your kind. Don't let a pillar get lost in there. So when you cure it, make sure you hold your client's hand up in the UV lamp. Don't let her touch it down because she'll smudge the bottom. Okay, it's been the first 60 seconds. So now we're gonna go on for the second coat. So I'm gonna put another layer of red. And I'm gonna start the same way I did the first time, on the top. And you'll notice how it gets bolder. Okay, after a second coat of red, you're gonna go ahead and cure it one more time. And then we're gonna put top coat on. So after the second layer of red is cured, and now we're gonna go in for our top coat. And the top coat I'm gonna be using today is my Secret Nail Fair No White Top Coat. Let's put this clean top coat on. So I'm gonna come in and same thing. I start and end the same way every single time. Just look at how that red pops.
morning y'all it's 7 22 in the morning here in new york i haven't slept in over 24 hours because i've been working i reconstructed um cardi's nails and the only thing i'm missing is these bomb ass crystals that she wants so i posted on my instagram and shout out to i'm gonna get her name uh, i'm gonna post her on my instagram but um i have posted and i was like hey who has these like right now like right now right now um and someone replied to me so here i am three hours later um after i finished the foundation on the nails buff filed put the red color on it so now i need to go get these crystals and then i'm gonna come back probably eat some breakfast and by then she should be up again so i can finish off and bling these nails out So that's why I used the Zulay's glue. So what I did was I put the Zulay's glue down first and then I put the crystal in place, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna glue my last little um, diamond right here. I don't want it too, too much. I was thinking about doing linear, but then it's gonna cover all the swirls. So I'm gonna put this last red one like right here. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm calling it a day right there. So I'm gonna go in with the back piece of this brush and I'm just gonna pick up some more Zulay's cluster gel. I'm gonna go right here. So this is where I'm putting it. Okay. Gonna go ahead and hover over and drop. There we go. So you don't have to put these on. I just wanted to put them on um, just to kind of match the theme with what I did on Cardi's. On Cardi's, I left the red one um, red, and then I just put tiny diamonds to line the swirl. But this one, I just put two of the big ones, the same type that I put on Cardi's now. Okay. All right, so now that it's done, let me zoom out up here a little bit. There we go. So now I'm going to get a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to cleanse the layer. There we are. So we have come to the conclusion of how to do the swirl now. I can't wait to see y'all's uh, recreations of it. Look how insane it is. It's like a weird, crazy, awesome design. So have fun creating these. There's different colors of these. Um, I just, like, when I, I did Cardi's nails, we were like, no, nah, we don't want to take too much of the swirl. So we did, like, one strip of crystals, one strip of crystals, and left it all red. Um, but I just wanted to show you how I applied these um, gems on, and they ain't going nowhere. Later in the day, after glam, hair, makeup, nails, everything was done, we took off the summer jam and party for fun. Behind the scenes, there we go. Okay, y'all, so my day, my last day is here. I'm flying out in the next three hours. 
Summer Jam 2021 is over and I just want to say thank you for Cardi. Thank you to Cardi for flying me out here and giving me this experience, you know, doing that for Summer Jam. And at that she challenged me, we challenged each other. Um, doing this swirl now, which I got a tutorial coming on soon. But you know, I feel like this was like um, an amazing way to like celebrate our like one year that we've been working together. Um, and I'm just super, super happy. It's been one year and I'm here in New York for the very first time. I literally flew from California to New York um, and just, it's fucking lit. Thank you, Cardi.